this is just a very quick little video addition to the one on angular momentum rotational kinetic energy so exactly the same as linear kinetic energy is the energy that a body carries due to its linear velocity and its mass the rotational kinetic energy is the energy that a body carries due to its inertia and its angular velocity and so EKR equals half I omega squared. The reason that I'm presenting this to you here is because there's some interesting things happen if we conserve angular momentum in terms of energy because suddenly we're shifting the inertia which shifts the angular velocity what impact does that have on rotational kinetic energy? Mm. I want you to flick back to the angular momentum video and see if you can calculate how much was the rotational kinetic energy at the start of the dive and at the end of the dive after the diver had tucked into a tight ball and try to puzzle out where that angular momentum has uh, the angular rotational kinetic energy where it's come from where it's gone to well why has it stayed the same what's happened just in case it was too much of a hassle to flick back to the other video here's a summary of what we found out to start off with angular velocity of 2 inertia of 13.4 once they tucked into a ball angular velocity of 6.98 inertia of 3.84 calculate rotational kinetic energy in each part work out what's happened and why it's happened have you paused that video yet So hopefully it worked out something like this for you as well. Hopefully you came up with 26.8 joules initially and 93.5 after they tucked into a ball, giving you an increase of 66.7 joules, which is mind-boggling because where's that energy come from? Nothing has touched this body to give it extra energy. How can it be? that its kinetic energy is increased. When we know that energy is conserved, nothing's touched it, therefore the answer must come from within. How did this physicist get their body from looking like that to looking like that? They had to do work to pull their body parts into the center of that ball. And that work doesn't disappear into the ether. That work is the 66.7 joules increase that we see between having themselves all stretched out and having themselves tucked into a ball watch out for this it's tricky and i will try to trick you with this when you come to do your test